There are over 100 EVM compatible networks that you can add to your MetaMask wallet. If you were to use the manual method to add these networks to MetaMask, it can be such a hassle. Here are two faster methods on how you can add these networks with just one click. For the first method, you can go to the Chainlist.org website, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Chainlist compiles a library of EVM networks that you can add to your MetaMask wallet. On the website, you can connect your MetaMask wallet to Chainlist. You can scroll down the list to find the network that you wish to add. Alternatively, you can use the search bar to find a network. Once you have found the network, you can click on the Add to MetaMask button. A pop-up will ask you to confirm adding this network to your MetaMask wallet. Once you click on Approve and Switch Network, you will now have added this network to your MetaMask wallet. This helps to save a lot of time as you do not need to copy over any details. Apart from Chainlist, you are able to add these networks on other platforms like SushiSwap. On this platform, you are able to swap tokens on a variety of networks. If you do not have any of these networks installed on MetaMask, a pop-up will ask you to confirm adding this network. Once this is done, you will be able to view this network in your MetaMask wallet. You can use this method on other platforms like Trader Joe, which is native to the Avalanche network. After connecting MetaMask to the platform, you will be asked to switch to the Avalanche network. If you already do not have this network, you will be prompted to add it to MetaMask. In this way, you will be able to add the network to MetaMask. My channel is all about creating in-depth guides to help you navigate the crypto world. If you found this video useful so far, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Now that you have added these networks into MetaMask, here's how you can verify them. One such way is to go to the official documentation for each network. Most of them should have a guide on how you can add their network to MetaMask. To verify these networks, I would suggest expanding the view of your MetaMask wallet. This can be done by going to the menu icon and select Expand View. After that, you can go to your avatar and click on Settings. You can select Networks, which will view all of the networks that you have added to MetaMask. For this example, I'll be verifying the Avalanche network. The two main things to take note of are that the RPC URL and the chain ID are similar to the ones in the documentation. The rest of them are optional. You may notice that the network name is different, but this does not matter. It is possible for you to rename the network to whatever you like. On this same page, you can delete the networks that you no longer use. In this case, I am unable to delete the Avalanche network because I'm already connected to it. If you want to delete this network, you will need to switch to another network first. Once this is done, you are now able to delete this network. Adding these networks are important if you want to view the balances of your custom tokens. You can check out this playlist to find out more about adding custom tokens. Furthermore, you can use Chainlist to add these networks to MetaMask on your mobile phone. So this is how you can add any EVM network to your MetaMask wallet with just one click. You can check out my guides here to learn more about your MetaMask wallet.